In this video, we'll help you learn the steps involved in performing a tactical reload. If you find yourself in a defensive shooting situation, it's important not to run out of ammunition. Performing a tactical reload helps you continue the shooting activity with a fully loaded gun. When performing a tactical reload, you're exchanging the partially full magazine that's in your gun with another full magazine that you're carrying on your person. The time to perform a tactical reload is when there's a lull in the shooting activity and you're protected behind cover. When practicing this skill, the objective is to get good at changing magazines quickly. We'll be using dummy training rounds for this demonstration. There's no live ammunition in this room. The safe direction to point our gun is at that brick wall. This gun is loaded with dummy training rounds. The ready position for this video is compressed high ready. The best way to carry extra magazines is in a magazine carrier on your belt. Your magazine carrier should contain only full magazines. Ours are loaded with dummy training rounds. When inserted into the carrier, the bullet should face forward. Partially empty magazines should go into your back pocket, not into the carrier. That way you know which is which. Start by holding the loaded gun in the ready position. This one is loaded with dummy training rounds. Assume that you've just fired some shots and that the magazine still has a few rounds left in it. The gun will have already loaded another round into the chamber. It takes four steps to perform a tactical reload. Step one, move quickly behind cover. Step two, move your support hand to the magazine carrier to make sure you have a full magazine ready, but don't remove the magazine yet. Reason for doing this is so that you don't unload the gun and find yourself with no ammunition if another threat emerges. Step three, remove the partially empty magazine and stick it in your back pocket. You want to hang on to this ammunition because you may need it later. Step four, remove a full magazine from the carrier. Your index finger should be flat along the bullet side of the magazine. Your finger serves to align the magazine as it moves toward the gun. Insert the magazine firmly into the gun. There's already a round in the chamber so you don't need to operate the slide. Finish back in the ready position where you're ready to shoot again if needed. Now, let me walk through those four steps again. One, get behind cover. Two, check for a spare magazine. Three, remove the old one. Four, put the new one into the gun. Now you're ready to shoot again. If you find yourself in a defensive shooting situation, it's important not to let the gun run out of ammunition. By practicing what we've shown you here, it'll help to prevent that from happening. We're here to help you get trained. Here's our formula for success. One, watch our training videos. Two, get professional instruction. Three, practice, practice, practice. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you at the range.